What's going on everybody? Today we got another video with the 97 F350 Power Stroke doing the Hydra Chip install today. I just wanted to briefly go over with you guys what we've done so far. I um, don't know what y'all can see. Uh, anyway, uh, we re uh, removed the PCM. I just want to show you this because I know you've seen this probably a hundred times. But um, these fender wells, they have a million bolts everywhere. And I think there's like five that run across here. Of course, my this is my dad's truck. He's got these things. I forget what they're called, the little water deflectors or whatever they are. Um, they have, his got, which just looks terrible, three bolts behind it. The bolts are actually behind it, so I had to take it off and get to them just to move this enough to get down there to the other, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's the mounting bolt to the PCM right there. And I just pulled it out, slid it down here. If I could do it all again, I probably wouldn't have done it that way. Uh, that's the way I've seen other people do it, but probably not the best way to do it. Um, don't forget, but when you remove this, you can see it. That is just a 10 millimeter uh, bolt that holds that PCM in remove that and there you go so yeah do if I had to do it again I would just remove the the brake pedal the emergency brake pedal I do it that way but that's the way I did it so far so uh, yeah we'll get to the next part to the fun stuff and uh, see if we can get this thing tuned okay so I wanted to add this to the video uh, as you can see this hole here in the center of the of the PCM there's this little retaining clip right here of course the camera's not gonna focus but it goes in here um, you could tell that this has never been removed because that's still there. Everybody else I've seen that has done this, it just has a center hole here. Uh, this is a, a massive pain to get out, uh, but the way I did it literally was uh, I tried actually like pinching the, the retaining part and pushing it out. Didn't work, so I just grabbed this end here. If you can see it. Grabbed it and just pulled it apart. It's kind of sketchy to do it. Kind of feel like you're going to rip the thing in half, but everything seems to be in one piece, so we're all good.
Okay, so um, I, I, was, I saw in a few videos that you're supposed to route the cables through a different hole, uh, not the one that's exposed for the emergency brake pedal. So I didn't see one, so I went ahead and drilled one uh, big enough for the both cables to go through and then put some kind of sealant around it to close it up. Uh, I did test it, that is big enough for both of them, so you might have to do the same thing. Alright guys, you can see in there, drilled hole, wrapped it with uh, electrical tape, and routed the wires through that hole. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have a huge cleanup here with all this, all these metal shavings, but then we're going to put the emergency brake cable, or emergency brake, back on. And uh, should have plenty of clearance there to get these above the, the brake cable. So, well, let's do that. Alright, so that's what it looks like once it's back on. Uh, and it's not pinching against anything, it's just wrapped. Oh, it looks like it's actually coming out of the top of the e-brake e pedal. I keep calling it cable, e-brake pedal. Anyway, yeah, it's coming right at the top, not pinching, looks good, so let's continue. Okay, so I still have my uh, kick panel off because uh, still kind of, still is messing with the gauges, but we're about done with that. I'm going to finish up the video on that before I post it around the same time I'm posting this video. Um, so that's why that's easily accessed but you're gonna probably want to run this ribbon cable onto this bezel it's probably the best spot for it you don't have a whole whole lot of slack so um that's a good spot and that's where they everyone puts them so anyway um all right so moment of truth we just connected the the pcm back up and uh we're gonna crank her on make sure we hook the batteries up obviously and I don't know if I mentioned that before. Make sure you take your batteries off when you start this. And don't have the key in the ignition. So, it says to turn the ignition and make sure all your lights come on. Make sure you get your weight to start, which we do. Gauges come on as well. Everything's looking good. Let's fire up. All right, and we don't have to worry about finding a new PCM anywhere. All right, so I made number two. The uh, high idle, let's go ahead and test that. And there it goes. And there you go, everybody. That is, uh, that's the install right there. You got any questions, uh, post in the comments. If you like these videos, like and subscribe. I am gonna be posting more videos with this truck. Uh, the gauges, I'm definitely gonna make a gauge video. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do a fuel system and who knows what else he wants to do with this truck. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time.